Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So a while ago, I did a video on how to run mods on OG Doom using the GZ Doom engine. Now, I used to do it in kind of a slightly, well, you could say cack-handed way, which is basically, I had GZ Doom on my PC, I'd grab a mod like so, do a right click and drag it over and just do open with GZ Doom. In fact, that's what you'd see. Well, let's cancel out quickly. But that's what you get. So, not exactly flexible. So for example, if I wanted to run like a bunch of mods together, sometimes there's gonna be incompatibilities. It needs, certain mods need to be loaded up in, in a certain order. And I wasn't getting that with the way I was doing it. So obviously I've switched to using a launcher. Now, what do you need to run a launcher? Well, you're gonna need a couple of things. Well, actually three things, the launcher, the game itself and the source engine. So I'm gonna show you how I installed it or how I get it running. So this is what I do. I'm using ZDL, no particular reason, I just found it pretty straightforward to use. And uh, now I'm gonna add Doom 2 to it. Now you can add the Doom engine if you want, the, the old school one, Doom 1. You can use this launcher with Heretic, use it with Strife, a whole bunch of games. But anyway, I'm just gonna use Doom 2. Why? Because Doom 2 seems to be compatible with most mods. However, now that we're seeing Free Doom here as well, if you don't own Doom, you can always use Free Doom. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna associate Doom up there. Okay, so that's Doom in there. And now we wanna associate the source engine and I'm gonna be using a GZ Doom. You might wanna use something else, Chocolate Doom for example, but I like GZ Doom. Anyway, let's browse and find GZ Doom. There we go, the GZ Doom XE, brilliant. Okay, so there we have them associated. Now we'll go over to main. And in fact, now we could just launch Doom if we want. We'll do that right now. All right, before I forget, actually select it. There you go, it's selected now. I was gonna try and cancel it out, I was too late. There we go. But as you can see, you can just run Doom. And this is, well, if you're happy running Doom, brilliant, off you go. But anyway, so what I wanna do now, well I wanna run some mods. So I quite fancy running a little bit of, ooh, I'm gonna run some Brutal Doom. So I'm gonna go over to my, let me move this, cause this is what I like about this. You can now start dragging stuff over. I'm gonna run Brutal Doom. There we go. Let me go up here. And here's one of the things I've gotta say is you've gotta really start getting into uh, a bit of file management. Until last week, this was just a whole list of different wads and it was getting very confusing. So um, yeah. File management, it's a godsend. Anyway, so I'm gonna be running Brutal Doom, main Brutal Doom mod, and now I'm gonna change the visor up. So I'm gonna put in this visor, okay. I fancy adding some Duke Nukem taunts, which is very good. And on top of that, I think I'm gonna have, I wanna change the music. Uh, I'm gonna have Doom Eternals music that somebody's put into a wad, so brilliant stuff. And because I don't really fancy playing the sort of default maps, which I could do if I wanted, I could jump into different map levels here. Just clicking on there, I'm just gonna add a mod, a, a, a map wad. Uh, let's go to the levels, what have, I, what have I got here? I'm gonna put in Annie. Now, normally, I was gonna say, I should add here, normally you'd have to unzip the files, but uh, with Annie, you don't have to, but you know, Try it, it might save you unzipping. But, you know, it depends how valuable your time is. How much of a rush are you in? Anyway, so what I've got here is Brutal Doom, I've got some visors, I've got some taunts, I've got some music, and I've got the actual game itself. So, let's launch it up. Off we go. New game. Yep. So we've got the music. At least I think that's the music. Brutal Doom extra violence there, and you can see the HUD that I've included. Hopefully we should start hearing some of Duke Nukem's, um, well, insults. Yeah. 
dab on your ass. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Anyway. I want to quit out because what I want to show you now is the following. Now, I'm quite happy with this config. It's got everything I want, extra violence, brilliant tunes, and some uh, lovely little insults in there. So what you can do with ZDL, you do the following. I want to save this in a config. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to save ZDL, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it, um, actually, where am I going to put it? Actually, let me just... Yeah, just move it to the directory I want to put it in. And I'm going to call it, I don't know, uh, huge ploppers. Oh, that's not how you spell huge ploppers, is it? That's how you spell huge ploppers. There you go. Hit save. Brilliant stuff. So now I can actually get rid of that as well. So, you know, I can go off, play other wads, try the combinations, and let's say, Oh, I really want to play that combo. My, my, well, I want to play huge ploppers again. So you go back and here it is. Okay, so load it up, select it, press open, and there you go, brilliant. It's all back there again, and you can just hit launch. And that's all there is to running different mods using a launcher. Now, there's not much, more, not much more I can say, really. Go out and experiment. Find a combination of mods that you really enjoy. But for now, that's all I have to say. Now, if you've run into problems or any, you have any issues, hit me up in the comments section down below. I'll also put the links in there for, you know, any, well, for the launcher itself and for the free versions of Doom. But until next time, my friends, this is Hipkelt signing off.